and local beaches are filled with thousands of jellyfish. While, while, while Walton County lifeguards say there haven't been any life-threatening stings, News 13's Alex Schley tells us officials are taking all the necessary safety precautions. Seashells weren't the only thing washing ashore on the panhandle this week. Last week's southerly winds also caused several species of jellyfish to wash ashore. The poisonous jellyfish have arrived just in time for spring break. One of the things we're concerned about is a lot of people are coming in for spring break this coming week. And we're flying purple flags because we have these man of war jellyfish and the driven by the sea sailors that um, are coming up on the beach. And potentially, um, we get a lot of questions, but they can sting. And um, what they can also do is cause a, an allergic reaction that can be severe. This little guy here, it's called a by the wind sailor. Well, it may leave you with a bit of a sting. What you really want to look out for is the much bigger and dangerous man of war. I think the urban legends are probably not true what you're supposed to do. Uh, maybe going number one to help out. So I wouldn't really know. Probably put some aloe vera or something on it, but I'm kind of educated about that safety. South Walton Fire District Beach Safety Lieutenant Joe Jensen says the urban legend is not true. I feel like everyone knows the old wise tale of, hey, you get stung by a jellyfish, you pee on it. Yeah, uh, the, I think that's wrong, the old wise tale, okay. because uh, me, uh, what you're really getting out of that is um, warm water. And so that's what we recommend treating with. A lot of people use ice or cold compress to treat the reaction from the sting, but that's the wrong thing to do. What you want to do is use warm water. Despite the flying flags, beachgoers seem unfazed. In Walton County, Alex Schley, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Whether you are on a private or public beach access, it's important to be aware of your surroundings and know, that beach know what beach access point you are closest to in case of an emergency does occur.